Hey guys, it's Lisette here, and I just want to say first off that today I felt very inspired by my nails to do this makeup. But anyways, I'm getting a lot of comments all about my hair, and it's questions like, what are you doing different? What products are you using? How is your hair growing so fast? And my hair, like, honestly, if I were to straighten it, I mean, I think it's getting pretty long. I need to straighten it again so I can see what it's how long it is, but it's finally like touching me, like it's on me, it's on my shoulders, and I wanted to just show you guys what I've been using and just some hair growth tips and just some some tips in general. Shampoos and conditioner. I have switched to the land of sulfate free and I don't think I'll ever go back to sulfates. Diva Curl actually sent me um, their no poo decadence line and I was like, oh yeah, I can try it. Like, you know, I'll I'll do it, whatever. I tried it at first, and at first I was like, uh, like I don't know if I can really get the swing of this. Like it's really annoying. Both of them feel like conditioner, like the shampoo doesn't even set up. Now that it's been a month, maybe even over a month of using these, I can actually say I really, really like it. I get a lot of comments saying that my hair looks healthier and it looks shinier. Like, what are you doing different? Your hair looks really nice. My curly hair routine has not changed at all. The only thing that changed is that I've been using sulfate free products. I feel like my curls are really moisturized now, like I actually feel like they feel healthy, you know? So this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner. I'm like almost totally out of the conditioner so I need to buy a new one. Diva Curl is such a well known curly hair brand so I'm surprised I haven't like been into it before but I don't know, I'm just, I'm really liking these. With my shampoo, I have been using this thing and this is so cool. So it's from Vita Goods. If you guys are a subscriber, then you know that I love the Vita Goods spin brush and I use it in conjunction with my Clarisonic. This is from Vita Goods as well and it's a massaging shampoo brush. So there's a button here that you press and it vibrates. So the bristles vibrate and you put it in your hair and you just do like circular motions. I don't want to mess up my hair. The vibrations help to stimulate your hair follicles and helps to increase the circulation, which helps with hair growth. All of it is just with hair growth. Like this equals hair growth. I've been using this and it's just nice to just like go like this and like put it through your hair and you don't have to like get your nails all in your hair. You just use this. These are like rubber bristles. So it's nothing that's going to like, you know, hurt your scalp. What I really like about Vita Goods and their products is whenever I reach out to them and I say, hey, so I got your shampoo brush, would you be able to give my subscribers a discount? And they always say yes. So you can get 50% off this brush if you are interested. They have like a few different colors. You can use the coupon code down below. I believe it's Grow Hair, And you apply that at checkout and you'll get 50% off while the supplies last and while like the coupon code is good. So pretty much you just have like one battery. It's like a double A battery and you put it in here and then you can just pop this back on and twist it and then you're good to go. So you can actually use this in the shower and you don't have to worry about it like breaking or anything like that because it's pretty secure. So I have a few favorite leave-in conditioners. I'm going to start with this one. This is by It's a 10 and it's the Miracle Deep Conditioner Plus Keratin. On the back, this one promises to give your hair keratin Deeply moisturize, give you a lot of penetration in your hair, it smooths, detangles, restores elasticity and strength, protects hair color, helps prevent split ends, adds shine, and protects from sun damage. I love this. I'm like completely out of this. I need to get a new one. It works really, really good. Your hair feels so soft when you're done, and your fingers can just instantly glide through your hair. In conjunction to the It's a 10 one, I have the Weed Odd 12 minute deep treatment. This is like protein in a bottle, it's intensive repair, and I love to use this whenever my hair is just feeling like really blah and it just needs like some help. This little thing was really expensive compared to this. I believe this one and this one was like almost the same price and you get literally like almost triple the product in this one, but this is super expensive, but it works really, really good if you put a shower cap on your hair and you just leave it on for 12 minutes or even go under like a hooded dryer or something like that. This works amazing. And the last deep conditioner I have is the Shea Moisture 10 in 1 Renewal System Hair Mask. I like this whole line. Like, I just got a new one of this and it smells, I really like the smell of this. This makes your hair feel really strong and really soft. And what I love is that it has, where is it? It has biotin in here. And biotin equals hair growth. So I like to use this. 
this whole line actually, the whole Shea Moisture 10 in 1 Renewal System, this whole entire line has really good shampoo, really good conditioner. I've used it before. I literally used it before I was using this, but now I'm just into Diva Curl because I switch it up so much. But definitely, I would check into the shampoo and conditioner if you want to keep all of your hair products within the same line. If you don't want to mix smells, go for this. Leave-in conditioner. I have used this leave-in conditioner for probably like five years and it's the Paul Mitchell The Conditioner. What's confusing is that it's a leave-in, but it's called The Conditioner, but it's not a conditioner. It's 33.8 fluid ounces, and it smells like a salon. Like, I love the smell of it. I found this product through, I believe, Mahogany Curls. I think that's her name. She does like curly hair videos on her channel. But ever since she recommended this, I picked it up and I haven't gotten any other leave-in other than this. I used to use the Kinky Curly Knot today, but it's literally like the same price as this, but half the size, like not even half the size. I think it's like one third of the size of this. So this lasts longer and I think that it works pretty much the same. For styling products, I alternate two products. I have the Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls and then I also have the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker. I love these. If you have curly hair like me where it's like 3B, 3C and above, then you need something that has a little bit more staying power as opposed to like a lotion or something that's really um, has like a soft hold. So I like to use jellies and gels and these work really good. In comparison, I would say the Jelly Soft Curls has less of a hold as opposed to the Curl Maker. This has the best hold that I found without being crunchy. I have the Curl Maker in my hair today. So this is what it looks like. It gives you like defined curls. It's nothing where your hair feels like hard and like rocks. It's something where it's just like, it's a soft hold, but it's a strong soft hold. The Jelly Soft Curls comes with 8.5 fluid ounces and the Curl Maker comes with 12 ounces. So you can just see, like you would think, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess you can tell this one has more product. These are both like natural hair products. This one has no mineral aura, no paraffin, no artificial colors, no sulfates. It says it all on the front, like this is really definitely good for your hair. And this one has like marshmallow and agave leaf extracts. I don't know. But I think this is like, I don't know. I don't know what's in this. Honestly, I love, I love this. I get emails from people who have curly hair like me. I get emails from parents who their kids are mixed and they have curly hair and they say, my daughter, my son has hair exactly like you. What do you use on your hair? What do you recommend? I'm going to Target, I'm going to Walmart. I need to pick up something for their hair. I always say this. And then they email me back. They're like, oh my gosh, it worked. Thank you so much. Their hair looks amazing. And I literally always recommend this because it works really, really good. If you have a looser curl, then a jelly might be too much for your hair. But definitely if you have hair that's similar in texture of mine or similar in like curl pattern, I would 100% recommend this one or the Jelly Soft Curls. You have your hair soaking wet where it's like you just got out of the shower. You apply your leave-in first and then you would apply whatever styling product that you want on top. But it's a huge difference if you apply this with your hair like a little bit wet and when you apply it with it soaking wet, you need to have it super, super wet. For like getting your hair really slick and sleek, I have the Curls Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. Passion Fruit is like one of my favorite smells and I just love this. It works really good. You only need a little bit. You don't need to put too much because then it gets really sticky. But you put this on your edges and you just smooth it back and it helps you have like really sleek braids, really sleek ponytails, and it just gives you that polished look. Anyone can use edge control, like anyone. But if you have straighter hair, I would recommend probably just using hairspray or like a super, super light gel. But if you have wavy hair and above, you could use this. And lastly, you guys have seen this in my videos, um, if you've watched my other curly hair videos, I've been talking about castor oil quite a lot, and this stuff is the real deal. What I like to do is apply this like on the front part of my hair. I've seen little tiny baby curls start to pop because I'm using this, and I wear my hair in like a lot of braids and stuff, like you guys see. I always have my hair kind of like this or pulled back, so you want to just give your hair a little little TLC. So I'm using this. I put this on maybe four times a week at nighttime and I put this on and I rub it in 
and then I go to sleep. This definitely works. Like you can even use this on your lashes, you can use this on your eyebrows, you can use this on any hair that you would want to grow. And anyone can use castor oil, even if it's just on your lashes, it doesn't matter like what type of hair you have, what ethnicity you are, anyone can use it. So for some extra tips, the number one thing that I would tell you is just to just be careful with your hair. You don't want to dye it too much. You don't want to straighten it too much. Low manipulation. I would seriously recommend just leaving your hair alone for a while. If you guys have noticed, I haven't straightened my hair for I think maybe three months and I haven't dyed my hair since February this year. So that's been quite a long time and I literally like have been dying to dye my hair. Like I want to dye it. I want to bleach it. I want to do something with it because I get really bored easily, but I've been holding back just so my hair can relax a little bit. So I'm doing that for my hair and I definitely think that it made a big difference. I also make it a priority to get haircuts. I used to be the girl that would get like a haircut every five years and then I would wonder why I have split ends and it's because I never got haircuts. My last haircut was about two months ago. I'm making it a priority to go every two to three months to get my hair cut because I don't wanna get it too frequently and then I just keep cutting off my hair. So about every two months, I'm gonna get haircuts and I think I'm due for one now, but just like a little bit, just like a trim. Drink water, all the time, constantly. Good for your hair, skin, nails, everything. It's good for your whole body. Just try to incorporate water into your diet a lot more frequently. Try the inversion method challenge. I have a video that I posted I think like a year ago where I did the inversion method and I did see results. I saw results. It was really subtle. It wasn't an inch in a week like how they say but it was a very subtle difference but there was definitely change. It's all about keeping your scalp free from a whole bunch of product and also moisturized and stimulated. Going back on this brush, how it vibrates to help stimulate, if you were to just do like nightly like scalp massages or if you're just like massaging it, like if you're watching a show on Netflix, just like take your hair out and just start like massaging your hair just like for 10 minutes and just that could actually really help. Your fingers will feel like a little bit oily and that's your natural oils that you're rubbing into your scalp and you're just helping to moisturize all of the hair strands. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite products for your hair. Curly hair, not curly hair, let me know. Of course, if you like this video, then please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh,